Somewhere in the universe, the goddess Antowas created a world from a single jewel. She created the earth, water, sky, and air. And two humans from a red jewel and a green jewel. From the red jewel, a boy named Astar. And from the green jewel, a girl. Leader. Leader had the power to create life. A star's purpose was to protect Leader. A star protected her fiercely, sometimes too fiercely. He caused Leader shame and sorrow. Still, she loved him. Lida loved Astal. After creating this world, Antawas slept and didn't see the danger to come. As she slept, the evil god Gerardo stole her creation. He sought to change the world to suit his wicked tastes, but Lida and Astal resisted. So Gerardo made his own human. Geist and told him to destroy Lita. Geist took Lita to the bottom of the sea. Astal pursued them in a rage. In his desperation to rescue Lita, Astal cracked the bottom of the ocean. Lita was free, but the ocean was ruined. The battle awakened Antawas. When she saw what Astal had done, she banished him. But Lida took pity on Astal and gave him her jewel. <laughs> After banishing Astal, Antoas battled Gerardo and defeated him. And Antoas slept again. Thank you. 
going to find Lita or die trying. The guy who kidnapped her must have hidden her somewhere. I'll find him and beat the snot out of him. I'll make him tell me where she is. I'll take him and... Will you quit following me, stupid bird? Get out of my way or I'll have you for dinner.
This is a star the little human Antoas made. Ugly, dirty brat. He wants to find Lida, does he? Well, he can look all he wants. There's no little girl here. But don't give up, little boy. The more you fight, the stronger I become. Yes, the stronger I become.
You're scaring everybody. Nobody's going to hurt me. You've got to trust somebody sometime. Try a little compassion, my friend. Please, Estelle. What? 
You didn't have to help me. Thanks. You remind me of someone. Lita. I have to go now. You really shouldn't follow me, you know. I don't want anything to happen to you. Lita had been the only thing a star had ever loved. But now he found that he was beginning to love this strange bird as well. Then he remembered the world in which he and Lita had been so happy. For every creature who lived there, that world had been beautiful and wondrous. Who had destroyed that beautiful world? He had destroyed it. A stall had destroyed it. For the first time in his life, a stall cried. He couldn't say why he cried, but the tears wouldn't stop. His tears fell down like rain, and the strange bird stayed by his side.
Hello, Estal. Good to see you. You've done me a big favor. You see, every monster you fought was a part of Gerardo's body. You he thought you were destroying him, him, but you, you were actually, actually helping Gerardo gain power. Gerardo's now complete, complete thanks to you. But now your usefulness has ended. I think it's time to get rid of you. Goodbye, Estal. What's going on? Why can't I win? I can't lose to him! I can't! Ha 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 ha! 
glass doll. Star, leader, listen to me. Gerardo's shadow is now gone from this world. And Lida is free of Gerardo's dark magic. Astal, it wasn't my power that let you defeat Gerardo. You discovered compassion. I could not give this to you. Compassion brings strength, Astal. Remember this. is done. I leave this world to you. And I leave to you the power of creation. Use it wisely. Farewell, Astal and Lida. Bring happiness to the world. This is my final command.